Alzheimer's disease is a major unsolved puzzle in medical research. Currently, there is no cure, no effective treatment, not even certainty about its cause. As Alzheimer's disease progresses, brain tissue shrinks and dies. This causes a gradual loss of short-term memory, difficulties thinking, confusion and behavioural changes, ultimately leading to death. An early sign of the disease is the build-up of plaques around the cells in the brain. For decades, it was unclear what these plaques were made of. We now know they are made from one of your body's own proteins. Plaques develop from this protein, called APP, which occurs on the molecular surface of brain cells. Like all proteins, APP has a use-by date. It needs to be broken down and recycled to keep your cells healthy. To understand how APP is recycled and forms plaques, we need to look inside the cell. Here we see other proteins assembling on the inner surface of the cell, creating a lattice. This structure plucks away a piece of the membrane, forming a package called a vesicle, which contains APP proteins. The lattice disassembles, allowing the vesicle to transport APP to other parts of the cell. The parts of APP that were on the outside of the cell are now on the inside of the vesicle. Vesicles are constantly transporting proteins back and forth between different parts of the cell. This continuous transport is needed so that old or damaged proteins can be broken down and recycled into fresh new proteins, keeping the cells healthy and functional. The first step in this breakdown is done by an enzyme that cuts the part of APP that was previously outside the cell. This leaves a stub of APP embedded in the membrane. A second enzyme cuts the remaining stub, leaving smaller fragments that are then released from the membrane. Normally, these fragments are further broken down, but during Alzheimer's disease, one of the fragments escapes recycling and instead accumulates outside the cell. At higher concentrations, these fragments begin sticking together to form long fibres. The fibres clump together in masses called plaques. The build-up of plaques in the brain can take place over several decades and is one of the main indications of Alzheimer's disease. Plaques can occur years before any loss in brain function is seen. Recently, scientists have identified changes in blood proteins that also occur years before the onset of Alzheimer's. This work has led to new blood tests that can easily and accurately diagnose Alzheimer's disease before symptoms occur. These new diagnostic tests, together with other rapid advances in the life sciences, mean we are closer than ever to solving the century-long enigma of Alzheimer's disease. <laughs>